Now here I am with a used module from the scrapyard which should work. Uh huh. I didn't switch on the ignition, but I see the light is coming back. Let's try. Something happens. Whoa, loud. Out again. This module seems to work. Here we are with both modules. Here is the working one. Here is the dead one. Let's crack open the working one and compare the internals. Both modules are open now and as you can see both have the same hardware. Yeah! Ok, here's the Motorola, let's start! Not enough! Here we go! Haha! <laughs> now let's read this guy! Here I have new processors, new Motorola's, fresh out from the pack still sealed crack open this now and solder the new processor to this adapter board and program the readed contents nice I'm happy that these Motorola's are still available because this is real old school stuff I mean it's obsolete since years. Haha. <laughs> nice and shiny new. Now this processor is ready to install to my broken module. And also, since I'm a nice guy, <laughs> I will program another new processor for the module from the scrapyard. Because I'm very thankful for the guy who lent me out this module to repair my one. So why not make him happy and make this module maybe last longer after a new processor because I know these processors are known to fail. Why not? I'm so happy that I found exactly the same module. So now install the new processor in here and confirm the repair. Now the big moment of truth here. All is ready to test. Power on. Current is a bit more than before. Let's go straight to the reset pin. Here. <laughs> yeah! It works! Wow! Go to the oscillator. I have to change the time base moment. <laughs> Smooth. No more breakdowns. I don't do all the picoscope stuff again because it's not necessary. It seems to work. Back in my workshop with the new module, it's all, it's almost dark, but I want to know if it works. One connector, two connectors, and after the last one, the button should light up. 
last one. Yeah! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Blinky, blinky, I don't know why. Yes! What a feeling! Why does it blink? I think the end position is not reached. The out position? No blinky blinky, that seems... The controller found the end position from the outside, but not in the other direction. I think I found the problem. The customer has here plugged in some adapter and then the hitch cannot move all the way in. So remove this stuff here. Okay, now it's out. Try again. Other direction. <laughs> yep, it's in. <laughs> hey, it works. Wow. Let's scan for codes. I have to fire up my scan tool first. Now let's see the ECO information because I have written the original EEPROM from the Motorola that was inside here. And com uh, combined with the software from the other module. Now. <laughs> the other module had a date from 04 and this seems to be correct so all calibration data all configuration is like the same as on the old one was read the codes no fault wow hehehe <laughs> Successful repair. Thanks for watching. Just for kicks, I want to know why the module didn't work. Now I have the contents of a good module, I have a good Motorola, and from the bad one. Let's compare this. Here I have all hex files that I have read out of this Motorola and the main program is in the flash so flash bad is from the non-working module and this is from the module from the scrapyard flash ok I'm using WinHex to do this go to view synchronize and compare now both files are synchronized and I'm Scrolling down to the whole code and see if I find the difference. Nothing so far. Here is one. Flash OK. It's 04 on this position. And on the bad one is a 14. That means here is a the first nipple is swapped to one instead of a zero. I expect the opposite way, but it seems from a zero <laughs> was a one has become a one by ever. Here more differences. But hey, this is only text, so no problem with that. 
This is the module description, I think, that shows in the diagnostic tool. So that's not the problem. Go further. That's it. Huh. <laughs> so, only one difference. That made all this mess. Where was it? I'm too far. Here. On this hex address, if I write here, uh, one, the module will work again. Wow! <laughs> This compare works only if you have the exact same software version, otherwise you you know, then you have differences. Huge. My cat is also here. She wants some food. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.